Hey guys, Cyrus here from Talk Android Phones and today we are looking at the Motorola E4 Plus. Now guys, here you can see the review device we got. It came in such a cool looking box with the Motorola logo on top. So when you open the box, here you find another box. And this is actually the display. So guys, uh, First of all, we it's rare to see such colorful mobile boxes these days. Well, I think Motorola after Lenovo acquired it, this is the first device we are actually unboxing. So uh, guys, the Moto E4 Plus comes in a multitude of colors. We have the iron gray version and we have the 3 GB, 16 GB uh, version. So, so you are the two colors, you have the gray and the gold. Uh, it has a 5.5 inch uh, 720 PhD display, fingerprint reader, quad core processor, 30 megapixel camera with a 5 megapixel front sensor. And now coming to the main feature, the device like you've already seen by now, the battery. The Moto E4 Plus has a 5000 milliamp power battery and it comes with fast charging so we need fast charging because it's such a massive battery other than that uh, it runs on 7.1.1 nougat it has dolby atmos support even it has a built-in software for it as well and it is 4g capable as well so let's just unbox the device okay so here you, you go guys the device we'll put that on the side uh, so we shall load it up first so this goes we'll just start the device while this starts we shall look what else is in the box so hello motor Okay, so we have everything over here. So we have the th uh, the headphones. This is the fast charger. So guys, here you can see that the fast charger has a uh, it's, a, it's basically a 2.5 amp. Uh, sorry, a one a 5.2 volt. A charger is considered to be a fast charger, but we of course have to try and test it out in order to check and Of course, we have the USB cable and some booklets so Yeah, so just put this on the side Our phone has booted up So Here is everything you find in the box Okay so let's keep this aside. Let's start with copy data. Set up, set up as a new device. One minute, guys. Yeah. So let's just start for now. Uh, we shall add a fingerprint scanner. Fingerprint pattern let's try it out that was fast okay so just next okay these are all the moto permissions uh, okay no thanks not right now okay so here you guys see the device has loaded so okay so first of all uh let's just look at the device uh now you can see that the the device the phone itself is full metallic uh, and especially it feels very premium considering it's a very mid-ranger device it is only for twenty thousand pakistani rupees uh of course, at the back of the device, it has a 13 megapixel camera which can take up to 720p 
uh, videos and this is due to the MediaTek processor and its limitations. Same goes for the 720p display uh, you can find on the phone. Uh, other than that, uh, you uh, the battery, the 5000mAh battery makes the phone slightly heavy but that's okay you can get used to that as well because it's not that heavy uh, but on the in the hand even though it's a 5.5 inch display uh you can easily use it with i think well, single hand i can at least uh so it has a 5 megapixel front shooter it has 3 gb internal ram uh we have the 16 gb in a uh, model so if you guys notice there's a slight animation when you unlock the phone uh, for the watch uh, so you may want you, some people may like it some people may not so if you see the device though it basically runs on stock android 10.1 uh nougat here let's just check that out yeah here you go so it's basically runs on android 10.1.1 it has one more so it it comes with all of uh, the functions basic functions which you get with android 10.1.1 uh that being multi uh, multi screen and stuff like that as well considering this is a 5.5 inch display multi screening would actually be very helpful other than that it comes with a bunch of motos own functions as well so here if you just let's start uh, okay so sim moto there you have moto actions as well basically simple just to do uh, things quickly other than that you have the moto display yeah this is basically when your phone is closed and you pick up the phone and the phone automatically wakes up and basically shows you notification and you can interact it interact as well okay there is also one button navi one button navigation function as well so if you open that here you can see the re the recent the home button and the back key just went away and you basically use your home button to do the function so you swipe uh you swipe uh, right if for your recent apps you swipe swipe left for to back and then you press it for home so it's basically a it's basically a bit tricky to get hold of uh, so here are the different functions see to go back and then yeah so you can obviously launch the assistant as google assistant as well right so i'll just close that back for now uh okay so uh so other than that you have a stock messenger messenger here you can see even the I, even the theme of the apps inside is is, is quite stock uh, but if you look at the icons it has the moto's own theme on it which is very slight you you really don't uh, feel it uh, so if you look at the camera so shutter type okay so location allow double tap power button to open the camera okay so we have that feature as well so here are the here are some of the quick options you have beauty mode manual focus it comes with hdr uh other than that so you have your, your shutter sound quick capture so of course it has a 16 megapixel camera uh let's just check out the auto focus of this device it's not bad though quite decent images let's op open the brightness a bit now yeah so yeah it's not bad actually but of course we'll do more uh testing in our future review but initial pictures actually look nice okay other than that you have your basic options uh the wi-fi data okay so you so the model we have though is the dual sim one so two sim card slots here yeah talking about the sim card slot so in order to put the sims or the memory card you have to open the back 
even though the battery doesn't open you have to open the back of the phone and you can insert a memory card as well because you will need expandable memory considering it uh, the model we have is a 16 uh, GB internal memory and of course you can bump the memory to 128 gigs as well so okay uh, so uh, other than that the one of the major features is the Dolby Atmos uh, this is basically the it basically enhances any sound any sound uh, even though uh, if you connect it either you're watching YouTube or you are you have connected your headphones so you and you have different options as well so example, let's say we play the demo So even though guys for us for see it's quite loud. Even for a 720p display, the colors of this particular video look really really nice. And it's quite loud. Okay, uh, let's see what other features we have. Security tap you have to have and pay. Um okay then that let's see oh yeah uh, you get the 3.5 millimeter uh jack with of course you get headphones right uh over here so you have a 2.0 usb charger and not the type c charger which uh, most of the phones these days uh or the 2017 phones are actually having you have a single speaker over here and a mic over here So the buttons here, the volume rockers and the power button here, they are, so you can feel them and it's actually, it's very easy to figure out if you, if you don't look at your phone and just pick it up. Oh, another example for the motor display. The, another thing I really like about the device is that the camera, the back, right? There's no bump. See? No bump. It's smooth. So if you put your phone down, right? It doesn't wobble so that is of course a lot of people will be really happy in order to find that out as well so that's about it guys this was the unboxing of the moto e4 plus hope you guys liked it if you liked it please like our video if you don't you, you can push the thumbs up button and please make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos such as this okay guys until next time bye bye